What's going on everyone? Mitch from respectmarketing.com here at the 2024 Hall of Flowers Ventura, California. Hall of Flowers SoCal. I'm here with Jordan Thorne of 420 Kingdom. How you doing today, Jordan? Good. I was actually going to say Joey Jot Dave Ping. <laughs> Respect my region. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just, no, I'm doing good, man. Hall of Flowers is dope, bro. Yeah. Have a good time. You know, so I know I know this is a little bit further away from, from you guys. I think, right, Santa Rosa is a little closer to you guys, or this is about middle, middle way for you? Uh, it's two hours from here to get to my house. And it's six hours to get to the okay. house from Santa Rosa. So opposite. So flip. flip. Closest Hall of Flowers to home for you ever. How, how excited are you for this year? This year's dope, man. I mean, it's a good energy boost. We got, we're right by the ocean. Can't complain. Awesome, bro. So 420 Kingdom, you guys obviously are growing aeroponics. And you also have a delivery. What is uh, your day-to-day? -day? you more in the grow? Or are you more the delivery and just logistics, everything? Well, what are you doing kinda, on a daily basis? Logistics, everything, but primarily I'm focusing heavy on delivery because that's where we crush the most at. And, and uh, so, yeah. And so delivery, <laughs> Bakersfield? Bakersfield, yeah. Okay. And so we were just talking about how many stores were you guys in uh, about a year ago? So we were in about 220, about 220 stores, man. Yeah. And so what are you in now? Uh, we're in about 15. And, and keeping because, the sales volume, right? And yeah, so let me tell you. So the reason we strategically pulled out of all these stores was because, A, we're sick and tired of chasing people for money. That's the biggest issue and getting paid, right? So we were fortunate enough to really start to, to scale our, our delivery side and our delivery model. So when we pulled out of all those dispensaries, we ended up obviously having more that we had to package. So we lowered our prices. It's our lowest eighth on the menu, but we're pushing almost all of our bulk through our dispensary. And it's way easier for you guys just to control that whole margin, even though slimmer MSRP, right, to the consumer, but control that whole margin. And I, I love that, bro. I mean, I don't know how many brands, I mean, even if they're vertical, right, can pull out of that many stores and maintain. So it's awesome to see how you guys have pivoted because that's obviously AR, right, has been the biggest issue in California cannabis. I mean, taxes, whatever, AR is, yeah. the, is the legitimate big issue, bro. Yeah, I mean, and it's sad because you see these people who put their life and you know, everything on the line to, to finally get a license, finally get a product, finally get a sale. And then what? They can't, they can't collect on it? Like, yeah. that, that almost reminds me of, like, in high school, hey, let me get it from me a dub sack. Bro, you're not talking a dub sack. You're talking 20K orders, like, and these poor people are going out of business. I mean... I think there was like 1,800 licenses that didn't even renew this. Right. Year, bro, which is insane. And it's sad to see, man. 100%, man. So this one right here, watermelon mimosa. This is, I know, been one of your guys' staple strains. This is a four gram eight. That's all your ace or four gram ace? Uh, so just in that one. So okay. we, have, we have like our, our cola, kind of top cola stuff that we do. Um, so yeah, that'll be all your bigger nugs and all the top cola. And so is this a crowd favorite for you guys? It is. And then I've been around for so long. It, that's definitely a crowd favorite, bro. That's been our number one tried and true staple. And it's unique. It's unique terps. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's terps. fruity. It's got a little bit, almost some tang in there somewhere, but it's not. It's not your run of the mill tang. You know yeah. what I mean? It's something unique. Um, so, Aero Products. What what went into growing Aero Products style? Um, the fact that we didn't know how to grow. I can find just keeping it honest, and we decided to choose the hardest one possible. <laughs> I mean, if I'm just. I mean, it's been a fucking bloodbath of trips and falls. You know what I mean? Yeah. It has not been easy. Has not been rainbows and orgasms, but I do feel that like what we're doing is super cool and unique. And, and when a lot of people see it, they, it blows their fucking mind when they lift up that tub and they see all the exposed root. Yep. And, um, you know, so we do we do get about six six a year, though, you know, which is a little bit a little bit more so we can turn over a little okay. bit quicker. So we do see that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a unique way of growing. Um, looking back on it now, like. I probably would have gone like live soil, you know, <laughs> but it's cool. We're in it. We're doing it now. So yeah. Yeah. No, I dig that, man. I dig that. And so uh, obviously, so you're in 15 stores, you were saying 15 accounts outside of your delivery. Are those spaced all around the state or concentrated in a certain area? Um, it just depends. They fluctuate, but yeah, they're kind of like kind of strategically placed around the state, you know? And I like them because a lot of people call us and they're just like, Hey, where do I get it? And you know, and it's kind of gives it that exclusivity of like, how do you get it? You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not as easy. We got the 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 ATV over here blowing up the spot. Catch, Come on, catching the sound, pump. Come on, uh, probably, no. probably. But that's how we live. He says, "Hell no, they weren't catching that sound. I'm the sound guy. <laughs> Nothing gets caught. Only voices." So, one thing that you want people to know about 420 Kingdom, bro, or, or what are the main things you want people to know about 420 Kingdom? Is man, I want people to know that 420 Kingdom. We've been doing this since 2019. 
we are in our own little fucking world over there in Bakersfield. We're the white unicorn. But at the end of the day, like, we seriously grind every fucking day. And we are, we're one mom and pop. Like, it's just me and my pops. Like, that started this shit. So it's like, we're a we're family-owned business, you know what I mean? And and uh, we're not some big corporate, you know, but we're vertically integrated and we're surviving, bro. I love that, bro. You guys have been hustling since the start, building out that crazy retail footprint and then, like, having the foresight to narrow that down and bi and continue to build a successful model which went against the grain of what a lot of people do man so i got to give you guys a big salute always appreciate the support um so you know we out here 420 kingdom we respect my region 2024 hall of flowers here in ventura california man stay tuned for more interviews. let's go